It's, uh, I've been told it has a lot to do with our project. Um, so I'm going to be taking a look at it and seeing exactly what I think of it, what lessons I can take away from it, and bring over to the team. All right, so let's see. All right, so Iron Man. Iron Man is going to be super hardcore mode to play in. We want to do this. Regular game mode rules, but with permadeath for adventurers. We'll do it. I'll turn down the volume here. In my ears. It's really loud. Okay. Alright, so we're going to hit the new game. Happening right now in a video game a couple of feet or centimeters from your face. Adventurer Manager. Endless Tower. In space. Episode 1, A New Pope. <laughs> a period of oppression is ending the air to the kingdom of Aventuria has awoken from an enchanted sleep, which they had lain for almost two decades. The parents of the air were a king and queen in the land of Aventuria. A over the court was the religious mirage. They were brutally murdered and thrown seas. People of the kingdom of Aventuria just won their first victory against the old mirage, pushing back to the old wizard spires to be the spites of each mirage to spin monster star. That's the display of those who will as he waits. Pursue with sinister magic, uh, races, save kingdom. People are clearly new to video games <laughs> development because they don't know how slowly people read. Chester says, ooh, a nice little map. Ah, your grace, you're awakened. You awaken. The time has come at last. Wash up and grab your armor. Your adventure is about to begin. All right, so I guess this guy's going to be my little guide. Let me close this window so these things aren't banging all over the place. All right, perfect. All right, let's see. My ruler. It's a male. I'll try to make him like me. I guess uh, my eyes are like more that color than the bright green. Uh, let's see how the girls look. Oh, oh, right. No, I don't want a Harley Quinn. A crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that other kind of pimp crown there. There you go. Beard style, hairstyle, hair color. We're good, we're good. Crown. Let's see my robe. My robe's kind of badass. I don't, I don't know. There's only one robe. Skin color. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. I am a... Ooh, you can change. <laughs> I like how the, the dwarf is just even stretched out. I mean, not, sorry, not stretched out, but compressed. Elf. Giant. Gnome. Halfling. With difference between gnomes and halflings, no, no shoes. Human. I do a gnome. And my ruler will be uh, uh. of the garden. Oh. The garden, the garden. Garden. Oh, you know what? I think I can do this pre mo de garden. Okay, that's good. Alright. Let's see. Usually I rhyme when I speak, so forgive me for breaking character. Explaining things during the tutorials will be far easier 
If I am not rhyming. Ah, uh, lazy. Lazy. Super lazy jester. Just totally, that's just, that shit should rhyme. Let's make some rhymes up. Usually I rhyme when I speak. It makes all the young people freak. Explaining things during the tutorial will make me better by some factorial. Mirage has ruled this land for years. Well, you slept. It is time to take back your kingdom. Hey. Your grace, is that you? I haven't seen you since we were a child. Thank the heavens, I need your assistance. Oh. Hey. What's that? Hey, listen. I know you have for no formal army, but my dear husband went to the store to buy some groceries. And I believe I saw him walking towards the cave. We're not going to send our non formal army to step into your marital dispute. My dear old lady, we have no time exactly. Good job, Jester. To find your husband. Perhaps you should contact some other. Uh, what rhymes with husband? Jack, what rhymes with husband? Yeah, got nothing. nothing, right? We should we should reform this then, my dear old lady. We got no time to. We can't find your dude. Even coming here is kind of rude. Ooh. Bludgeon rhymes with husband. Uh, Bludgeon. I yeah, I guess. We could make it rhyme with this one. Please, Your Grace. I'm certain the town of Humania will be willing to assist you in your journey to defeat the evil Mirage if you can help me find my husband. Wow, extortion. Erm, I suppose we could aid you. We'll need all the help that we can get. Juju. Oh, thank you, thank you, Your Grace. Your assistance will not be forgotten. Jeff the Warrior. Your Grace, I have humbly served thee through my childhood, thy childhood. Let me bear this burden and serve thee in this matter. Send me to the cave to rescue this old man. Click the town to accept the old woman's adventure. All right. Click it. There's a shop, there's an armor. Ah, Humania. Home to the humans, obviously. The first thing we must do is accept our adventure. Click the old lady to see her list of available adventures. There's a lot of noise going on in these graphics. It's like things don't really stand out kind of as much as they should. The pixels are huge. There are the adventurers that are offered by the old lady. These are the adventures offered by the old lady. Each completed adventure gives you new adventures XP, which allows you to take higher levels of adventures, higher level adventures. So make haste. There's no time to waste. Ah, see, he's finally getting back into that rhyme. Click the adventure rescue bill. Okay. Rescue bill. Venture into the cave and rescue the old lady's husband. It says three rare items are re rewarded for defeating the main boss of an area. One legendary item rewarded for defeating at least one mini boss of an area. One mythical item rewarded for defeating both mini bosses of an area. Main boss. Do you want a 64 bit or a 32 bit build? So I get. Well, that sounds weird. I get three rare items, but I get a mythical item. If I defeat multiple mini bosses, get the boss. I'm just gonna defeat the mini bosses. All right, cave tutorial explorer. I can decline it or accept it. Ooh, I'm gonna accept. Jester says, "Make haste to the cave, where you can be brave." You should now see the crosswords above the cave where the adventure is located. Let's get motivated. Oh boy. Click the cave. Got the university. We're gonna look around Druid Grove, Giantia. So this is kind of like, I mean, our map's 
I think, personally, I think our map is going to end up looking a lot better. But um, it's got kind of the same setup, uh, where there's going to be a whole bunch of spots around the, the map. We're aiming for, to have a whole lot more spots than these. I can kind of see what they've got going on here. Bone Graveyard, Nomia, Humania Castle. I wonder where Elfia is, probably up here. Elfia. <laughs> Dwarfia. Dark Elfia. That's awesome. Nomia. Okay. Cave tutorial. Rescue Bill. Your first adventure. Make sure you are prepared. And click begin. Uh, I don't know if I'm prepared. How am I supposed to know if I'm prepared? Begin. This is the important adventure preparation scene here. You organize your adventurers by clicking an empty silhouette and selecting the ones you want to utilize. You should place your tough adventurers in the front and at the back, the ones that are more fragile, so to speak. I also heard there may be some unique bonuses. It's doing the inside rhyme. Based on their arrangement. So in the future, try it. Unique bonuses based on arrangement. Okay, that's interesting. It's like a dark. Uh, venturing party is normally four adventurers. Right now, all you have is Jeff. So place him in an appropriate space. All right, Jeff. You're gonna go rescue Bill. How am I gonna keep track of all these weird fantasy names? Frontline of your party. This adventure position will be targeted more than the back row. Typically, act as your tank. Also the front, so they're taking a lot of MMO tropes. Also the front line of your party. This adventure position will be targeted more than the back row. Support melee damage. Back line, adventure position can only attack with long range weapons and abilities. The very back line. Okay, same thing. What says, what are those? Okay, there's all sorts of bonuses we can add to the party. That's interesting. And they say all are drizzed. It's a pretty direct reference here. Okay, so I'm gonna take Jeff and put him in here. Endurance is that endurance? Party ID is none. Jeff has got a gear one. Alright, he's a level one. When you're ready, click go. Risk, simple slaughter. Recommended G's. 50% increased gold find, 50% increased ma magic find, much tougher monsters. We're gonna go for it, Jeff. How's that sound? This is a dungeon map. That's kind of weird that I get to pick the difficulty of the uh, mission. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm crazy about that. Uh, dungeon map. The squares are rooms. And it Adventure icon represents your current location. Certain events and encounters are also displayed as icons. <clears throat> this is kind of like, at least right off the bat, seems like a little bit like Darkest Dungeon in a lot of ways. Um, squares are rooms and the adventure icon represents your current location. Certain events and encounters are also displayed as icons, such as the entrance room that you're standing in. Okay, so you see that's the entrance room. There's, I don't, I don't know who that is. Is that Jeff? It doesn't look like him. Rooms, unless you put on his adventuring bandana. Rooms may have a connecting hallway node to indicate the different locations you may travel in. Possible directions are indicated by the compass, which is the primary way you can navigate your adventurers through the dungeon. Okay. Right now, you may only travel east. So click east, and you will see Jeff start moving. So they actually show you what's going on here. Ugh, rats. Why did it have to be rats? Huh? Okay, that's kind of like a mixed Indiana Jones. Dad doesn't like rats, but he never said that. Did he? Did he say that? Alright, so Jeff's gonna Jeff's gonna fight him anyway. This is your basic attack. Click it now to prepare your attack. Got uh, attack damage type weapon based attack target for 60% weapon damage. What about 100% weapon damage? 
taunt. Target enemy for <coughs> 500%. Open damage as threat and reduce armor by negative 12%. Okay. Your attack is ready. Click the rat to initiate it. We'll attack this rat. Yeah! Jesus. Fucking rats are having it. Okay, so I guess I'll go... Is this, this up here is like... Oh, good job, Jeff. Jeff's gonna get fucking done in by the first rats. Wow. Jeff sucks. How is that rat hitting me from uh, far away? Jesus, I might very well die to the, on the first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. I failed the tutorial. Good nice. job. Now what tutorial? Try that again. Why don't we reset the adventure? <laughs> we have no adventures. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Dude. Uh, that's a good question. Trey also asks if we can change the speed of the scrolling text. Yeah, because this is the thing, because Indy, Indy also is pointing out snakes. Because Indy goes snakes, why'd it have to be snakes? Because he's afraid of those. But then his father, uh, Henry Jones Sr., comes on in... Uh, uh, geez, the last one. Uh, well, the last good one. And says he has a, fra a fear of rats. So I'm wondering if they actually he actually said that, but that would be like a really kind of oblique reference, right? Um... Yeah, so back to Humania, I guess. I don't know if I have any money, so I can't really hire anybody. <laughs> ah, he's greedy. You know, two more use melee weapons and shields to crush enemies, protect the party. He's resourceful. He's greedy. Negative five percent damage all swords and fists. See, this is the type of shit we're, I'm talking about with the uh, with the UI. Like, like I mean, this stuff does not bother me in the least. I know a lot of people freak out about this, but this is early access, you know, stuff like this, going outside the thing, I get it, like, things are still in development, I'm not going to freak out about that stuff, you know, or having, like, you know, sit colons after the, the numbers, um, you know, obviously that's something we're going to try to avoid with our stuff, let's, let's hire him, alright, let's do it, let's see, we'll hire another adventurer, we'll do another one. And we'll do another one. Back into the cave we go. Thanks, tutorial, for letting me know that I had to go back and hire adventurers. If I hadn't played this type of game, I probably wouldn't have. Alright. So we're going to put Joye. We're going to put OB1. Uh, okay. We'll do, we'll do those two. We're going to go for her again, because... No, uh, Trey's, Trey's asking, um, Trey's asking if we we're supposed to have two adventurers for the rat cave, and I don't, I don't think so, because they said, they, they specifically called out that we only had one, that's okay, I think I might have fucked things up by choosing heroic, but we're doing it again, because really, we're, we're, we are heroic, well, there goes 21, <laughs> at least we're supposed to be, alright, so, Hit him with the force like Obi. Oh, jeez. We blocked six, but still got 14 taken up. This is some tough motherfucking rats. Ow! Alright. Great.
great jaw, great jorb. Okay, so this is kind of what I, I thought might happen is that I've killed three rats total and uh, the uh, the uh, tutorial text has kicked in and said, great job, you've completed the mission. Make sure you click on any loot that drops to the floor. I hope this doesn't fuck up the whole game. If you mouse over it, you can check the stats upon the item. Now we have to figure out a way out of this dank place. Oh, I know. Let's use the portal. Oh, I want to kill the rest of these rats. Your portal ability allows you to return to the world map from inside a dungeon. Click it to send Jeff home. Jeff's, Jeff's gone, man. Stop living in denial. All right, we're doing this. Jester's Jester's still living in uh, you know another time. Are we even able to attack this rat? Oh, okay. Okay. So again, um, Epic Tavern is a little bit different from this game in that we are not going to be doing these kind of turn-based fighty type things, at least that's not what we're planning on. Okay, we got a club of cleverness, which is uncommon club. Pick it up. With this jagged ring of dominance, uncommon jagged ring. Focus and strength go up one, I guess. And then common shattered topaz guarantees intelligence is rolled on the crafted item with a bonus. Uh, three add to the okay, so we're gonna do some crafting later on. It sounds like um, we're gonna use the portal. Look at this rat here. Nice, good job, rats. Oh. We need to return to the old lady to complete her adventure. Click on Humania. Click the old lady to complete your first adventure. Okay. Okay. And turn to the cave and rescue the old lady's husband. We completed the quest. You killed my pet dogs. What? My apology. <laughs> Jeff, from beyond the grave. <laughs> my apology. Good job, scripters. My apologies, kind sir. Your wife sent me to rescue you from this foul cave, and I slew rats, not dogs. Foul cave? I was at the market. But sir, you were in the foul cave. Bah! Adventurers these days. Old lady, oh, thank you, thank you, your grace, for rescuing my dear old husband. The town of Himenia has agreed to open its gates to you in return. Yay! Your grace, the town of Himenia has a new adventurer. Have you noticed that little bar that says allegiance slowly increasing? Okay, so they have a, um... <coughs> idea of faction kind of like epic tavern does as well we'll see how that affects things as adventures as you use adventures of a town they will slowly recognize you as the true ruler of adventurer so this means they'll give you special bonuses but i'm not sure what yet okay good all right fair enough let's see a giant problem search a cave for what is ever whatever is stealing the baker's white frosting I don't understand why these things are here all the time. I figured I was gonna get some rewards. I guess gold last time. RXP. What's RXP stand for? I know. Mark now asks why won't I left let Jeff go home? It's true. I just can't let him go. Let me see. Oh yeah, there's the chat. Yay. Just gotta let him go. I think I might do some pottery with Jeff. My Grace, your first story adventure is upon you. These adventures are needed <coughs> to proceed. Complete them, you must. Or all we have done will be dust. Oh, there's the rhyme again. Worry not, the bling you receive will be fit for a king. That's the worst rhyming I've ever seen in my life. My grace, you are awake. This is such fabulous news. A hero like you is just what I need. 
I own the most wonderful, amazing, spectacular bakery in town. I am most famous for my white frosting. Everyone finds it delicious. Yep. Recently, though, my bakery has been invaded by some fiend, and all my white frosting stolen. I make a lot too much for any one man to consume. It must be something from the cave nearby. Something big. Big enough to swallow all my white frosting. There are footprints leading to the cave. Follow them and bring my frosting back. I'll be sure to give you a special sample of my white frosting when you return with it. What an odd sod. Let us not tarry. Tarry. Tarry? Terry? Tarry? Terry? Terry not. To the cave, my brave liege. Wow. He does do kind of like the inside rhyme and then he leaves it alone. It's really the worst rhyming ever. Of course, this adventure will not be as easy as the last. We must find some adventurers for this chore. These are the homes of all the seven proud races of the kingdom of Aventuria. Each race has a favored class that they prefer. Every hired adventurer comes equipped with a basic weapon to threaten and their first skill. Jeff is... God damn it, let Jeff go! He needs to move on. Jeff is currently a warrior, so we need to hire three other classes of adventurer to complete a party. <laughs> I'll be back when you've hired them. Okay. We don't care who you... We don't like your kind here. We don't care who you are, and we don't care if you stay or go. Keep your no nose clean, and you won't find a dagger in your back. Oh, and welcome to Dark Elfia. Mm. I'm gonna hire Dark Elf. Here's my cleric. Wait, how's a Dark Elf a cleric? <laughs> it's supposed to be fucking all super emo and shit. Dark Elfia, first of all, is already. Is that is that what you found as well? Dark Elf is a stupid name, sure. And then yeah. the, the clerics is also kind of weird. That is <laughs> fucking really weird. All right. Anyways, I'm hiring. They could be. They could totally be the rogues, and then the halflings could be the clerics, and make more sense. All right. And I could choose the gender. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Crypt. Dark Elfia. Dwarfia. I like the dwarfs. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the great city of the dwarves, the sturdiest race in all of Inventoria. Please relax and enjoy a warm pint of ale. Why are you guys trying to stereotype Dark Elf so hard? <laughs> yeah, maybe the Dark Elf doesn't identify as like a thief or an assassin. <laughs> maybe dark they identify well, as. I could see dwarves being paladins. Hello? Yeah, don't try to don't try to put me into your box, Jack. If I want to be a cleric, I'll be a cleric. Hey man, I support your decision. Better. Oh, and I'm gonna get a giant on my side too, because how do you fight giants? This is this giantia. We giants, welcome to giant home. Thanks. Do I hire a giant? Oh, a uh, barbarian, of course. Stupid. He's huge, 10% plus weapon damage, negative 10% XP because he's stupid. 5% damage with all axes and pole arms. <sighs> Why are huge things always stupid? That's my question. It's one of the, the, the worst. I think after we get done dealing with all the serious problems in the world, then we attack. Then we should attack problems like this, like nerds being really angry that they were terrible at sports and stuff. And therefore, everything in games is huge, being stupid. Yeah, how stupid was that whale when he saved the Earth from being invaded by the Klingons? 
meet the barbarian. Okay, cool. So we got enough people. Uh, what's our adventures? Auto adventure. I don't understand what this is. I'm kind of like, I kind of, I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm on. Uh, Getting more into the the tutorial style where it's like okay yeah you take people through a basic tutorial but I I tend to like the tutorials that pop up whenever you open up a new section of the game and it says hey by the way here you are right now um, like you've opened like I open up this panel and we go oh by the way here's what this bullshit is um, let's see so do I go back to Humania oh yeah this guy give me a oh turns his back on me. Okay, hire me. Money, <coughs> humans are fighters. Now we gotta go back to the cave. We have the giant problem. See, and they're reusing the same location right off the bat. I'm not super crazy about that either. Uh, let's see. Areas of the cave. Level 1, XP reward 19. Gold reward 20. Let's do it. Oh! I, oh wow, that was pretty cool. I liked it when he was like, spreading out stuff. Oh, I almost forgot. When arranging your party, pay attention to the type of, <coughs> <coughs> of weapon the adventurer uses because it determines how far away it can attack. Because not all weapons can attack enemies in the back. Short weapons like daggers and swords can only attack one row away, while long weapons like two-handed axes and pole arms can attack two rows away. Nice. Ranged weapons can attack any row. I think you can handle it from here. I'll return when you have completed your adventure. Yeah, that's an awful lot of faith. Thanks. Um, okay. So kind of a problem. I don't know what the... I don't know what any of these guys do. Uh, I mean, I guess I can kind of see their gear here. They should have like tooltip pop ups or something to tell me what um what it is that these these guys you know what what kind of weapon it is. I mean I can see it. I don't know if that's a one handed axe. I mean it looks like it probably is a two handed axe. So maybe I should put him in the back, but eh, I don't know. Um You know what? Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and see if I can find somebody who has uh ranged magic. Elf, probably. Welcome to Elfia. Ah, uh, while you are not as beautiful as we elves. We are glad to provide services to you, your grace. Oh, that's good. Oh, how did I know the elf was going to be the ranger? Alright, here we go. The ranger uses spells, melee weapons, and ranged weapons to accurately eliminate foes and support the party. Keen eyes. 10% to hit. Vain. Negative 10 hit points, I guess. Negative 10% hit points, plus 5 damage with bows, crossbows, percent damage, wisdom. For being as vain as they are, they're very wise. Now let's see, hiring adventure. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can find any magicians. Half Flingia. Hey, are there magicians in this game, Tomo? You mean like wizard? Yeah. Have you tried to hire anybody? Yeah, but I want I want to know like what region they come from. I've tried to hire lots of people. Is the well, answer did to you the try question? Try to hire them from no Nomia. No, there it is. Cool. Oh, didn't see you there. Hello and welcome to Gnomia. You weren't very good at mist, were you? You didn't like to like move your mouse over every single millimeter of the screen. Nope, hate it. Uh oh, didn't see you there. Hello and welcome to Gnomia. If you were less bad. Sure. One second. Let me tinker with this darn robot. Okay, where was I? Oh, welcome. Somehow the guy with the sword and the shield is a wizard. That makes sense. Okay, we're going to hire... Uh, wizard uses devastating spells, wands, and staves to annihilate and control enemy. 10% uh, spell power. <laughs> He's a wimp. Negative 10% weapon damage. Plus 5% damage with stabs and wands. Okay, we're gonna hire him. Alright, let's go back and kick some frosting stealing ass. 
peek in. We're gonna put the. We're gonna put this. We're gonna put this guy in the back. We're gonna put the wizard in the back. We're gonna put the giant in the front. We're gonna put. Obi. And we're gonna go for heroic again because that's how to do it. Gold find. Oh, our our bonuses are gold find negative two percent, magic find zero percent, gear score one. We haven't discovered any of these party bonuses. Wow, they have literally put hodors. No, awesome guys. All right, let's see. Go. So we can go north now as well. We found a new entrance. So we're gonna do that. Oh my goodness. We're gonna kill cubs. Yes, I always wanted to kill cubs. Especially after seeing the revenant. Just gonna do Fireball. Fireball! Oh, negative 54. Holy shit, that was pretty powerful. What's up? Pressing attack. Attack the enemy for 120% weapon damage. Let's do it. <coughs> oh, wow. That spider is really uh, powerful. Mongoose bite. So the ranger has a mongoose? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh. oh no, I hope he didn't get poisoned. Deadly spider is magic resistant. Not that. Yeah, we got some stuff. Holy symbol symbol of handiness. Other characters say stuff. Uh rare holy symbol. It's five to seven damage. Plus three constitution, negative plus three dexterity. That's good. That's awesome. One percent physical dodge chance, three percent critical chance. I'm gonna put that in some sort of a. Oh, that's a ranged weapon too. Chingada madre. All right, let's see. Bardish of knowledge. Twenty-four percent enhanced damage. Five Bardish. intelligence. Five wisdom. Oh, that's good. We're good. Gonna give that to the. Uh, bar, bar, barbarian, paladin, warrior, deck. Mm. I guess we wait until we get a paladin. Oh, we have the. I think the dwarf was a paladin. Alright, so let's take a look at the map. Oh. Bestiary is where you can see all the monsters. See? Now they have the pop up stuff. This is awesome. Here you can see the monsters. The more you defeat, the more your bestiary will be complete. All that rhyme. Mm. 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 We can see what the resistances and vulnerabilities these guys have. Spiders. All these monsters have yet to be discovered. Okay, so our map. We're going to go to the east. Let's do some equipping here. Look at all these numbers and icons. Attributes in the middle affect the stats to the left. But it's all too technical for me. To the right may outfit. You may outfit your selected adventure with top-notch equipment. Great. Click an equipment slot around your adventurer to filter the equipment on the right. You can also single click any piece of equipment to view statistics. You may also click the various sorting filters to make things easier. Okay, let's see. Chain cap of berserking. Well, that sounds good for him. Bardish of knowledge. Yeah, it gives you a comparison. That's nice. <laughs> Image asks if I really 
just ridiculed an elf for being typical five minutes after ridiculing the dark elves for not doing so? Of course I did. Did, you, did I ever say that I was fair? <laughs> Never once said that. I'm going to ridicule everything and everybody. Alright, so cloth robe of proficiency. That's good. We'll give that to the, uh, the elf. Okay. Club of cleverness. Okay, this is a one-handed club. Short range. Go long range this guy. That's good. Heroic. Okay, two focus and plus two strength. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna equip this guy with a jagged ring of dominance. How do we do that? <laughs> okay, so this is equipable. Equip it. Let's respec. Oh, this is terrible. I don't know how to do this. Okay, so he's got. I don't know what I did. I just started hitting things. I think I might have hit uh, the right right click. Uh, strength and dexterity, magic resist. Okay. It's the helm. Strength and dexterity. Um, might take that off of him. Okay. I'm gonna equip him with that. So this regular ass axe. Intelligence and wisdom. Now we're gonna take that off of him. We'll put that back on. Cool of cleverness, we'll give it. Oh, man. Yeah, it does more damage. We'll give that to the other guy. Okay. Barbarian. Alright, the gnome wizard. Is a strength and dexterity. Really? I can use helm. Okay. Yeah, increases strength a bit. Increases dexterity and intelligence a bit as well. Strength and dexterity. Let's see what we can do here. So, none of these guys can use the. Fuck. No, wait until the paladin. Um, let's see. How many hit points does this person have? 33 out of 150. About the same. I'm gonna tank this guy out. And I'm gonna also give him that. Alright, so we don't have anything. Oh. Use this in his offhand. 22% enhanced armor, intelligence, and constitution. Yeah, we'll put that. Anybody else? Anybody else? We can give her the shield. The shield's not gonna fuck up her. Okay. Alright, that's pretty cool. Skills. This is your adventurer's skill tree. Okay, so that's kind of cool. The adventurers have. It is true, ridiculing everybody and anybody is the definition of fair. Very fair. Alright, let's see. Adventure skill tree, the adventure levels. As an adventure levels, you have to meddle 
of choosing skills for them. Adventurers have a limited amount of skill selections available to them, which is reflected by the number at the top, so choose wisely. Oh, I can still... Okay. Also, what's that? Spell power rank one. Passively increase percent. Focus. Alright. Okay, so intelligence, I can increase my intelligence to 2%, I can shield, absorb. Da, 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 da. I think I already have this real frost, right? I don't, I do not. Okay, so I have one rank in the fireball. <coughs> so I cannot. Skill sections remaining. Oh, I see. Okay, so I can. I don't know. Okay, it says skill selections remaining, but I don't think that is actually true. Um, so, university courses. This menu shows which university courses the selected adventurer has completed. None. Can choose the appearance, stats, and bio. Alright, we're done with this. We're back to the cave. Done. Okay, that's kind of cool to know all that stuff. Let's go to the east. This chest is filled with items. Leather rest of luminosity, a rare leather vest. Five dexterity, six focus, six intelligence. That's good. It's one percent. Oh man, the wizard can't wear that. Damn it! It's focus, intelligence, physical dodge, chance. That's good. Plus one percent now. Uh, board shield of aptitude for strength for intelligence, which would be good for the ah. Paladin can't use. I mean, wizard can't use it. God damn it! Physical dodge damage, crit damage, short spear. Even though it's a short spear. It has a long range. 31% enhanced damage. 5 focus, 5 constitution. 7% magic resist. 3% gold fine. That's good. That's good. Alright, cool. So let's actually see if any of this stuff would be better for. Okay. Obi actually right there. Who's this? Two handed. Okay, Yeah, I think I'm gonna equip him with this. That way you can get to that back row as well. Um yeah, I think that thing was two-handed, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Strength and dexterity and magic resist. Other vest. Ten dexterity, focus, intelligence, physical dodge chance. Can't equip that on her. Alright. Oh. Equip this on him. Maybe I should equip that on the, uh... Let me see. Maybe I'll equip that on the, the giant. Let's see if I can equip this on Jay's. Yeah. Alright. I mean, just because he's going to be probably tanking a lot more, is what I'm thinking. Alright. Let's see how it goes. Uh, what does the map say? Oh, we found a thing, but... Alright, so we're going to head back the way we came. Head back south. Head back east. Me! Small wolf. my super damage. 
attack that wolf. Yes. Ooh, mongoose bite. Negative five. Okay, who's going to Obi? Taunt target enemy for five hundred percent weapon damage as threat, and reduce armor by negative twelve percent. That's fun. A fireball. Boom. These are pretty tough. Looks like they have about 60 plus. Mongoose bite is holy hit target enemy for 90%. Nah. Hit this guy. Boom. Okay, that's good. That worked. Looks like Obi's soaking up some damage. He's still not dead, huh? Right. She's gonna hit B with a fireball. Okay. And I think I'll do my. Got a bunch of loot. Looks like I'm gonna be doing a lot of loot management in this game. <clears throat> That's something I'm interested to see how it turns out. How it turns out feeling in our uh, in our game doing loot management because I mean if we have like you get to the point where you have like ten parties out and they're adventuring all over the place and they're kind of finding a bunch of loot all the time, we're gonna have to build some AIs in there that are gonna mostly do a lot of loot management for you. But we also still wanna. It's kind of fun to do a certain amount of loot management as well. So I think we want to build some of those choices in there. Maybe we do that through an in tavern, you know, crafting system where you can create things that are more powerful than the things that are typically found in the field, and then you can have fun, you know, giving those special items that you create out to people. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how we uh, how we end up dealing with that. Because um, if we're do if we're dropping loot all the time like this, it's gonna be like it's gonna be pretty crazy. You don't want to spend the whole game, you know, just dealing with loot and assigning you know, cooler loot to people, but that is definitely something that makes games like this full management management games like this fun. So rare leather vest of knowledge. Cannot be used by wizards. Common short bow. Leave that there. Short bow with power. I like that. Common helm. I think we can take that too. Let's equip some people here. Oh, Leia can't wear helms. This dude can't wear helms. Hope he can wear helms, but he's not gonna. Giant can't wear a helm either. Let's hey, drop this shit. Bless you. Um, let's see. Sturdy focus, intelligence. Intelligence, wisdom. Yeah, I'm not gonna put that on the barbarian. Okay. She can't really wear anything. Let's see. We're gonna leather vest. Plus five dexterity, yeah. Done. It was a bad hit chance with the other one, but still. Um, Okay, we got an uncommon short bow. Power plus three, six strength plus three constitution. That's a clear choice. And let's see, he's got two handed, so he's not going to use any of the weapons and the shields. A weapon, I think, is pretty clear. He should be using that. Alright, looks like we're good. All right, we have another room to the east here. Your party is ignoring you. What you Tell me, did you ever see this? Looks like you have two choices, ignore them or ride them. Your party is ignoring you. What do you do? Well, I ignore them. <laughs> or you can ride them. Are they like receiving messages from me telling them what to do and just gonna end up doing their own thing or something? 
kind of yeah, fucking weird. How would it normally work in a game? Like they're just ignore doing whatever they want to do. It would work in not asking some random person next to you what's gonna happen. Dude, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want to do. How's I'm that sure sound? you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna ride him. The fuck is that bullshit? Okay. And so everybody's hit points get restored because I rode them. Uh, I don't know what had just happened there. So we got question mark. What's this question mark here? I guess that was a random encounter. I go to the east. Oh shit! Out of nowhere. Oh wow. Okay. Got to attack. Spider, cause spiders are kid scary. Uh... Oh, spider slain. Take it, spider. Leia is going to do. Oh, slain. Do. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Things are going according to design. Alright. Normal ass chain cap. We'll take it. Maybe we can sell it later. Keep heading east. Come, us, come across the camp. Do we camp? Let's see. Ooh, alright. Let's see the map. Did not appear to be any ill effects of camping. Okay, so if I go, it doesn't matter, there's like no effect uh, if I go up or down or whatever. Let's see. Try to hit this B, since not everybody can do that. Uh, Leia is... Slaying the wolf. This guy's attack power needs to be boosted. An adventurer has gained a level. Visit his stats. And allocate new attribute points. Also check to see if he's gained a new skill or enhancement. Alright. Who went up a level? Ooh. Plus 7 strength. Plus 8 intelligence. That's pretty good. Kamachinko. Take it. Damage and strength. Intelligence, no, nope, not quite. Oh, she can wear this cloth. Alright, yeah. Hey, Subasa! I am playing. This P bar is health, okay. Oh my, the hostility. What's going on, Daniel? Yeah, this is the place, definitely the place to come for hostility. Uh, especially when Tomo gets on my nerves. Yeah. She says it was a good ride. Subasa, I am playing a game called Adventure Manager. Directly pertinent to our game, upcoming game, uh, Epic Tavern. And so I'm checking it out and seeing how it's going. Um, the guy's good. 213 enhanced damage, focus constitution. Yeah. I don't think there's any anything that I want to equip on anybody right now. Oh, definitely skills. Let's see. Obi's the one that went up a level. Got a skill point. Reflect increase reflect damage by twelve percent for two rounds. Slam is slam target enemy for seventy percent of the weapon. skill point. I think I'll take this reflect damage. It's a kind of a cool thing. Where to? I'm gonna head to the east. Uh-oh. 
essay. I'll look back on the delayed stream to see what that uh, little pop-up said. Came and went too fast. Monsters appear! Okay, yeah, that's nothing big. Alright, so we're gonna do a pressing attack. I think I'll use that on the, the big enemy. Obi is also going to hit up his reflecting. Okay, so it's part of the damage is being reflected on these bad guys. Okay. Not doing a ton of damage, but... Okay, so Fang is about a little bit over half of his... I keep doing this pressing attack. 53, that's good. Do the regular attack. 17, not too much. Cheap shot. Ooh. Worried about Kale. Boom. Maybe we should be doing a taunt with Obi the next time it comes around. 80% weapon damage, 120% weapon damage. I'm doing that. Okay, got the big guy. I think we're more or less out of the woods. The powerful. Ooh. Powerful rats. Slew one of the rats. Gonna taunt the rat. Oh, fizzled. Oof. Kale's dead. I'm so sorry, Kale. <laughs> Should have just went for the kill. Oh well, there it is. Oh, lots of, uh... Ooh, we got a new wand. That's good. Common chain coat will take it. Short spear of center. Doesn't look like it's any better. Uh, legendary dagger. Let's see. 25% enhanced damage through wisdom. 3 intelligence, 5 max hit points. Crit damage, max energy. Unique Fang's Fang. It's a nice little dagger. 4% group finding, 3%. Hit chance, crit chance, 6 focus, 7 strength, enhanced damage. Striking is a legendary staff. Max energy, so that's good. That's a cool one. Alright. So let's equip some people. Leah. Uh, 7 to 10 damage. to 16 damage. It's through reflect damage, crit damage, three strength, three intelligence, enhanced damage. Uh, plus three. I think this is probably the best one. We get rid of our shield though. Alright, four to sixteen though. Ah. Yeah. Maybe the dexterity bonus as well. <laughs> offset it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Leia went up level. Fireball, Arcane Shield, Absorb. 30% damage. Shield. Increase my intelligence by 2%. Nah. Mm, let's see. 60% spell power. What does intelligence do? Does intelligence give me more? It's threat. Okay, I like the idea of that. Alright. Increase target dance damage. Okay, so I think we're gonna do the mark. I like the idea of marking the target. Let's chase. Let's see. Kale is to dead. Oh, oh we can't unequip his shit. That's lame.
Does he just hang out there or what? on wolf ray of frost 65 percent I wonder what's gonna happen with them now um. Maybe I just do a Oof. Good thing these guys don't do a whole bunch of uh let's see. Make it a forty three. Her regular attack's pretty goddamn good. Um I think I'm gonna mark the spider. I think we should be good on this one. We have frost. Two. Good job. All right. There it is. Ooh, rare crossbow. Thirteen. Um, chain coat. Very wild axe. Yeah, we're gonna check that one out. <laughs> Will I be sending flowers to the widow if I make it out alive? Can you imagine if you had to do this for twenty-five characters? Yeah. No. All right. What's he got? Let's see, I think I th thought I saw something come through that might have been. Okay. So, Legendary Wild Axe, 32%. Do -do -do, strength, Wisdom. Let's go 8%. Crit damage. That's good. Physical dodge chance, flick damage, yeah. We're definitely hooking him up with this. Wait, he doesn't have any... Ugh. Okay. It's uncommon chain coat, two intelligence, two strength. That's good. Not the type of rings or anything like that he can use. Nope. All right, let's see. Kale is still with us. I hope I can revive him in the town. I did say permadeath, but. This dude has that. Compare these bows. Rare short bow, uncommon, three dexterity, wisdom focus, 30 max hit point. Dexterity, wisdom, dexterity, and 10 wisdom. Two handed, two handed, the belt, five, 6% crit chance, 10% crit damage. Dexterity, wisdom. Uh, it seems like this rare short bow is going to do the trick. Uh, well, this does a little bit more damage. Uh, I think I do this one. Okay. Everybody else is taken care of. Cool. Well. I guess we go back to the, or we can go to the south. Was, was it the giant rat that was, oh shit. Oh, I guess I got them unaware. Oh, maybe I should have rested with Obi.
Mm, I think we just need to concentrate on taking everybody out. Back at back around, people can take some damage, I think. Yikes, Mongoose Bite, what does that do? Oh, I saw the coolest thing, Jack. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And then the bee. Uh, honey, bee. Honey with the uh, honey bees that were um, pollinating uh, marijuana plants. Oh. Alright, got some pretty lame. Was there THC? And there was some THC. Rare Bardiche. So Wisdom, strength, and intelligence. I'm like, what? It's I'm pretty cool. Check this out. <laughs> Ring. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly the right intersection. I don't think the ring actually does anything to make off the road. Obviously, the logic, right? I, mean, I would have right. <laughs> Yeah, you would have had to do it by hand before. Create a... Mm, there's a ghost. Can can't really wear anything. It it I wonder how concentrated it is. Get the wizard of the ring. Yeah. Oh. It, 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 I only read it. So, yeah. It just made me laugh. I'm like, I've never thought of that. Alright, so... And it's, I, I, yeah, there's nothing. Before maybe the modern time. Sure most people <laughs> oh, I can increase their uh, his attributes it's, as well. That's a million dollar idea right there. Quite okay, so I'm probably going to do that's an easy couple of those. Uh, market entry. Some constitution. Is a good More constitution. Okay, she is going to have a bunch more intelligence. Focus. Increases so chance to crit. Like increases critical damage. Increases spell power for intelligence based classes. Trying to dodge attacks. Do some dexterity on her. Open damage when using a bow. This is when we destroy our weed crops that we have. Increases hit points. How much nutritional value is there? That's us. Good damage. I'll probably. I think it sounds like Chris's. Oh, yes. I think it's nice. It's okay, so. I don't think there's much in the way of anything. I feel like it's really good for me to focus as well. Well, yeah, yeah, materials. Okay. Well, okay. You might get some. All right. Whew. That's another thing too. Having to level everybody up. You know, we gotta think about that. Carbon sometimes. Oh, rest. Oh shit! Some guys showed up. So I can rest just about anywhere. Really it's weird. You want to switch? No. Oh, right. Because if you look at the nutrition of the info each other, it's just like... Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But, um... For, like, you can't do it. Oh, salad. I missed. Just spinach or something bad. Well, like, who mix their salads, probably. Ah, so the reflection it's killed them. Salad. Interesting. Alright. Yeah. Ah, I, I don't normally get cup salad, so I wouldn't place it very good to join it. Obesity's a quackerage on the floor. Yeah. What do you do? Swallow it, of it's course. Just, what? Water. It's okay, so monsters appear randomly because I swallowed a cockroach. But there's nothing to it. Like, uh, you can't call this bad. You just it was the old child. Yeah, yeah, a little bit so you guys can see it better. I guess it's neutral. Um, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. Uh, That's definitely it's the thing we should keep in. Uh, <laughs> keep in mind for our game as well. It's when we're organizing the, the UI to give people room to uh, kind of lay out some chat and stuff like that in there. Ooh, with another room. Son of a bitch, a bear. Truly the enemy of mankind. Mark that bear. You're marked for death, bear. Hit him, Obi. Oh, negative 34. This is a good thing. Obi's getting hurt. Oh, how did you miss? There, do the bear outside. Oh, God, yes, finally. Okay. Hit the bra the bat with a ray of frost. Did someone drop some paper? Mm. 
Sharpo, Cleric, and Axe, 6 and 9, that's good. That's Jammer. With low power, one handed club that does 10 to 12 damage, that's pretty good. Short range though. Eh. Some hard choices here. Stick with what we got. Well, these were the mini bosses, and that was the boss. So I guess just gonna rest for a little while. Everybody's all rested up. Okay, so with resting, I guess it just chances an encounter. <laughs> Mimich says the bear needs a hug. Oh, Kale needs to stay behind. We got a notification. Joye has finished resting. Okay, I guess they have to rest for a while when they come back. We have to, that's something we have to uh, figure out with Epic Tavern as well. Is, you know, can you just keep using adventurers or is there some sort of resting that needs to happen? If they get damaged, that seems to be something that's prevalent in a lot of games like this in Age of Gladiators. Um, Darkest Dungeon. Okay, let's go complete our quest. A giant problem. Search the cave for whatever's stealing the Baker's White Frosting. So we complete the quest, we're gonna get 20 gold, XP 19, RXP. This adventure will not be as easy as the last. We must find more adventurers for this chore. Oh, RXP is ruler XP. Made that frosting fast, don't think I will ask. But, ugh. Let us focus on your triumph over your first boss. There will certainly be more to beat and defeat across the lands. Kipkipper would also like a word about your father's sword. This is the Adventurer's Scroll. It's your one. Stop shop for automatic adventures and notifications of any events. Click the Adventurer's button and there's something I want to show you. Okay. Here are your four available slots for auto-adventuring. You can send out adventurers to gain XP, gold, and equipment for you automatically. Okay, so that's kind of like Epic Tavern in a way as well. Let's see what they do. And these available slots to open up the auto-adventure log. Let's do that. Composting. That sounds fun. Hey, hey! You have just found a randomly generated adventure which is unlike any we've seen before. These adventurers are marked with a green star and are constantly generated. They are great for farming loot, except this adventure to get back to adventuring. Good day, I'm Phyllis, the Grandmaster Handshaker. Please go to the cave and gather the 68 swords. As a reward, I will lick you with a couch. Okay, that sounds very, uh, that sounds very, uh, first glance, that sounds very, um, Mad Libby. Yeah, and kind of generic gather 68 swords thing. I mean, that's the thing I hope you, you know, I hope we can stay away from. It's definitely not uh, the type of thing I'd like to see in Epic Tavern. Um, and, you know, kind of nonsensical stuff like li licking you with the, <laughs> with the couch. Locations, cave, automatic. Okay. So, auto adventures have particular statistics based on class arrangement. Play around with the different classes to see how they perform. When your adventure is out, will we continue on to other things? Okay, we'll do... Fuck it, we'll pedal to the metal this thing. Front line of the party. Gonna do... A sow. Front line of the party, we're gonna do... Joye. Leia needs to rest. So does Jace. Reyna. And Elba. Can I do the gear for these guys?
this right now. Alright. Any bonuses? Shield wall armor. Okay, so you play around with the uh, the configuration that adds you. That discovers bonuses. So uh, we have two wa warriors with so shield wall. Stability recovery. Protection. Trap protection 0%. Presets. This would be one save. That's interesting. They have a system to save party presets. Yeah. I mean, some cool ideas in here. Adventurers will continue to adventure until they become exhausted. One of them dies, or you or you portal them out. But wait, they aren't progressing. That is because time is stopped. Here is the current date and time. As you can see, it's not moving, so our adventurers are not adventuring. This is the fast forward button. It allows you to fast forward time and progress your auto adventures. Oh, for future reference, defeating encounters and a manual adventure also passes time. Press the FF button now. Okay, so we're in the fall. I guess these are these aren't cinders. I hope these are leaves that are falling. Uh, so a town is going to be automatically sacked by an overpowering invasion. Let's see, Kale has been slain. Yes, we saw. Mm, let's go back to Humania. Okay. So, let me check, actually, let me check and see if I can see my adventures. Can post in K, battles 26, click to view details, <clears throat> defeated, 26 encounters, gold per encounter, loot found, 0471, give me details here. Is that thing, I, I honestly, in the game, in Epic Tavern, it's like if I see a stat or a bar or something, we need to have some sort of a tooltip on that. It's annoying not to know, you know, precisely what they're talking about. Uh, okay, so they're actually generating some text. They say encounter. 30 endurance was a lost as a result of this battle, so I don't tell you what's exactly happening. I was hit by a trap. Okay, that kind of does say... Alright. Yeah, it's pretty generic. Everything that's in here. You know, rare item. It's pretty much only the stats. The legendary item is looted by the party. Okay. I guess this is the rarity. It's common. Uh, uncommon. Rare. Legendary, maybe. <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit dry for me. Um, I don't feel like I'm really getting attached to any of my characters either, which is, you know, again, the goal that I want to, uh, and we definitely want Epic Tavern to achieve. All right, well, let's see, Kingdom. Ah, oh. this is the ruler menu where you can edit your appearance, check the bestiary, or get a quick glance at your allegiance levels. Okay, so, so the more I recruit, the more people I recruit from an area, the more allegiance that they give. Some areas take longer, looks like. Well, Humania takes longer. Right there. I don't know what the one is. Oh, that's like level one allegiance has been satisfied, maybe? I don't know. I am level two. That's interesting that they have a, you know, ruler level. I just want to save the game data. Alright, so that's about it. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Mimage, it's a common, uncommon, rare, epic. Alright, well, anyways, that's uh, the first playthrough we're doing of Adventure Manager. I'm going to explore it a little bit more on my own and see if uh, there's anything else that we can glean from it. Um, and I will definitely stream again if I find more interesting stuff for you guys to take a look at. Uh, in the meantime, Please uh, go down and give the channel a follow.
I appreciate you guys coming out and watching, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Uh, I'm Rich. This is the Epic Tavern. Rich randomly plays games with <laughs> cast, and looking forward to seeing you again at Twitter, where Epic Tavern Game, and Facebook slash Epic Tavern. And you'll find all these links down at the bottom of the scene. We'll see you next time. Bye.